Greetings and salutations, folks, and welcome back uh, to Assassin's Creed Odyssey, um, where I believe, at last, um, oh, a mercenary, um, I think I know wh where the rest of the game is going to go. Ooh, and he's a level 40, so I can go kill him. Um, so... The end, now that I'm getting so close, so close to the end, uh, after playing this game for a very long time, um, I don't know, for some reason I did not consider the idea, uh, that this game would be, uh, a good 55 to 60 hours long, despite the fact that this is an Assassin's Creed game, and Assassin's Creed games tend to be long. Um, uh, now he's running away from me. Yeah, coward. I'll teleport stab his wolf. That was a lot easier than I expected. Um, and I'll talk about that in just a second. After I cremate these bodies. He 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 did They deserve a proper cremation. Um so now that I, I feel that I'm getting close enough to the end game, that I could actually uh, talk about where I think it's going. Um, and it's going to be going most likely in uh, three steps. Uh, the first step is the uh, confrontation with Alexios and the reunification of the family. Oh, down there, I guess. Uh, the second step is the uh, hunting down of the cultists and the end of the cult. Um, the main reason why I put that a little bit farther is because this battle that's coming up uh, with Alexios is level 39. I'm level 41. Um, currently there is one cultist on the map that uh, I have not hunted down and he is level 49. So he's a bit higher than um, than my current level. Probably a bit too high, unless I decide to get really creative, but if he's level 49, then most likely the people around him are also level 49, which would make things very problematic. Um, <clears throat> plus, I've, I've already noticed uh, some are higher level uh, quests, including um, the finale of the Legendary Beast quest for Artemis. Um, like, I, I've been tasked with doing one final hunt, but that hunt is also a level 49 quest, so there's a little bit, um, so, without going too off track towards side quests, um, the cultist's quest is going to probably take longer than the, uh, Alexios quest, so that's why I put it as step two. Then, I would expect the finale to deal with, uh... Uh, the present-day people, and that would be the opening up of Atlantis. That is what I expect to happen? Will it happen like that? Well, we'll find out. But, I still feel like, uh, it's been a long time playing this game. Um, I'm still having a good time with it, although I feel as though, um, I have already defeated the strongest enemy of the game. Uh, that I've had the hardest time uh, with one particular enemy and everybody after this um, is, is not going to be an issue. Uh, and that is uh, one of the things I mentioned in regards to uh, like the idea of like at this point it's not particularly challenging because I've already dealt with the uh, the poison's excreting boar, which after fighting that battle, like everybody else is easy in comparison. Like this bear, this bear ain't got nothing on me because that bear is not excreting poison. Um, and the main reason why is because like for that fight against the boar, I not only had to keep my health up which required 
the constant replenishment of adrenaline in order to get more uses of uh, my healing ability. Um, I also had to re use stronger attacks on the board, which also meant getting more adrenaline so I could use that ability. But the longer I spent nearby the boar, the more damage I was taking, both physically and from the poison. So... That's what made that fight really difficult. Um, as opposed to, say, uh, the Minotaur. And the Minotaur is very basic in comparison, because the Minotaur just kind of runs around you. Uh, he charges. Ooh, what are you? You are Oracullum. Um, he charges at you, and he swings his axe. He doesn't deal damage over time, so the only damage that I actually had to heal was, uh, just the damage that he dealt. Ooh, it looks like there's some fire. Uh, might be the aforementioned battle that, uh, Brasidus was talking about. Actually, is that even in the direction of the... Yes, it is. That's the battle. Um... <clears throat> So yeah, all I had to do was gain adrenaline to use a heal every now and then uh, from the damage he was dealing um, with individual attacks rather than um, with that constant background uh, poison. Uh, the same thing went with uh, uh, the battle against, uh, what was his name, Prosimius? Prosimius? He was the false, sp or the Spartan king that was the traitor. Oop, hello. I probably don't need that, but hey. At this point in the game, like, it's it's been a while since I've actually... I haven't written down any of the, uh... Uh, material lists I need in order to upgrade my ship, so I don't actually know what I need offhand. Um, I know I need tablets. Uh, tablets, money... And possibly would. Um, but I'm pretty, like, I feel like, oh, I suppose I could kind of segue into that. I feel like this game, uh, the upgrading system for the um, ship is much uh, more simplified than the upgrade system for the uh, ship in uh, Black Flag. Uh, because there was just so many different upgrade trees in Black Flag. Uh, with this game, it is just nine different different trees, um, and most of them, and most of them only have like a couple different levels. Whereas, like, you have cannon shot. Like, you, you had a lot of stuff going on in Black Flag. Black Flag was like a ship simulator uh, type of thing. <clears throat> Whereas this game, uh, the ships are feel like they're more for recreation. Especially when you consider the fact that you're just smashing boats up against against each other, which is in itself a fantastic time. Um, but I, hmm, I probably will have a couple more ship-related fights um, in regards when I actually get to the point where I have to hunt down cultists. Uh, but I don't. I, I can't imagine I'm going to have any major ship-related battle. Uh, for any other story mission, like any sort of planned story mission, kind of similar to how um, back when I was helping out Marine on uh, Naxos and had to fight off Peros, like there isn't going to be that kind of uh, story, uh, like sh a story-based ship battle. Um, so this seems pretty extreme. Forest is on fire. Alexios is no doubt. Uh, tearing this all up. Um, I, as, as I mentioned, I'm not particularly worried about the fight itself. Um, I swapped out my, uh, twin daggers that dealt poison with this, the, uh, sword that Pasimios, or Persimius dropped. Um, largely because it did more damage. And I, I don't know how much the poison did damage versus the assassin abilities did damage. Like, I, I definitely rely on that one specific assassination uh, attack in combat. Where's Brasidas? <clears throat> what do you want with him? 
He's a friend. We fought together. A friend? Yes, and a friend of Sparta. Now take me to him. Stop! I have orders. Stand guard and wait for reinforcements. They were due two nights ago. Your reinforcements are dead. You can stop waiting. I've arrived. You? The Athenians are dogs at our throats. You won't talk so tough once you see them. Um, I join you. do they have see is the ferryman. smarter helmets than your... Met, warrior. You better fight as good as you talk. Come, we go to Brasidas. Okay. Oh, mid combat. And who needs to see, really? All right, switching to the axe. See, I like having the axe in these sorts of situations because the heavy attack, oh, uh, helps negate shields. Oh, he's dead. And then I could use this time to uh, reacquire adrenaline. Oh, and he doesn't even have a shield. And use that on you. Yeah, I rely heavily on that, uh... Was that enough? I don't know, like, the, uh, sometimes, like, uh, the attacks are... S like, so many people are getting attacked, it's not even... having enough time to show health bars and all that. Oh, I probably should fight that guy. And assassinate. Yeah, <clears throat> that that ability. Uh, like at first, I thought the teleport um, ability that I had, the teleport stab, and for like a stealth approach, it is. Um, but mid combat, like the. Uh, that assassinate like sweep ability uh that is extremely overpowerful ah. wait is Brasidius about about to be killed by alexios i mean yeah is between you and me and it is one you cannot win. Yeah, so long. If Brasidas dies, his blood is on your hands. Oh, I got a flame circle now. Are you mad? We can still stop. No, we will not stop. Oh my. What is that? Yeah, yeah, you can keep your dumb. Although it looks like he's got some different abilities going on, so at the very least this keeps the fight fresh, even though it's probably not going to be particularly challenging. Hmm, what did he do? Damn it, Trebek. There we go. Fine. Uh, uh. Uh. Interesting. Is that invulnerability? How do I deal with that? Ah, okay. 
That worked. I don't know if that's necessarily what I needed to do, but hey. Okay, I don't know what he's doing now. I think I need to do a headshot, actually. And I missed. No. But he keeps wiggling about. Ah, he's got a grab attack. That is no good. Okay, so I just need to do enough damage. Oh, stand back. Okay. So this fight has definitely become complicated. There we go. And I am out of adrenaline, but I can get it back. And he's almost down anyway, so... I guess I didn't have anything to worry about. And I suppose we'll see whether Brasidus lives or dies. Isn't that the point? I found Mati. Finally reunited, only to lose each other again. Tree one, Alexios zero. Legend in the making. That is a very, very awkward cut, I've got to say. Um, like, it, it, I don't know what it's trying to load right now, but if it's loading a different area, I guess that makes sense why I would just suddenly cut in the middle of tree falling down. Um, maybe the tree falling down knocks... Uh, Cassandra out, um, and then Cassandra gets captured by the cult, and she has to escape. That would be my guess at this particular moment, considering how uh, sharp that cut was. Yeah, I haven't done any of these, this lieutenant recruitment. Like, I completely ignore, uh, like, I did that, like, for the first mission where it taught you how to do it. Um, and then, then it was gone. I guess the lieutenants do give you bonuses in travel. Ooh, yep. I was, in fact, knocked out. And stripped of my clothing and armor. And Alexios. I Alexios likes to watch. What? Trying to save you? That's not what that was. I told you to stay out of my way. Yet here you are. So what? I'm a prisoner until I'm killed? That's the plan. Or I could come in there and end you anytime I please. But before that, tell me what you know. I thought About? your brothers told you everything. Sounds like you're on their side, but they're not on yours. You think I'm just a puppet? 
Then prove it to me. Tell me why I'm on the wrong side. Convince me. I dare you. What do you want to know? Everything you claim to be true. But after this, I kill you. Why was I abandoned that night on the mountain? Hmm. Okay, why was he abandoned that time? So the oracle told him to toss him out. But the mother reclaimed him. It was the Pythia's prophecy. The Spartan ephor said there was no other choice. A prophecy? You and I both know who feeds the Pythia her words. I do. A baby with a fate so terrible it was thrown off a cliff. What kind of prophecy would lead to that? The prophecy said you were weak. The Pythia said you were going to bring Sparta to greatness or to its downfall. Waiting for the outcome was too big a risk. A risk? I heard you're unpredictable. I call it being decisive. You um, decisive I don't know if the two of them... You, my family, let me go. Let you go? You have no idea what happened on that mountain. Then tell me. Let's see, I was a child, I wanted to save you, our mother searched for you, our father stood for Sparta. I did ki I did kill a guy. No one told you that I tried to save you. I ran to catch you, I killed an elder. That ended my life too. Always trying to play the hero. It wasn't enough then, and it isn't enough now. I did everything I could, and I'm doing the same today. It's too late. There's nothing you could say to make me feel like family. What if I told you there were Christmas cards? They've kept things from both of us. Right, though you claim to know much more than me. It's Nikolaus. He isn't our real father. It was another man. A man like us. <laughs> How many more secrets am I supposed to take? When will I get the truth? Gods are cruel. Yeah. This is this is pretty accurate for uh, the Greek gods. For you, and you are here in the gutter. I hear it shouting. It's nothing. Leave. Now. This was not your action to take, boy. I forget if Cleon was a character that I've seen. And you are not my master. Of course, champion. Any discretion I won't repeat. And then suddenly everything became too well lit. Just for a moment. Keep in mind, you put yourself in the cell. I don't recall doing that. You have to understand. This is all for Athens, Cassandra. Pericles would have impoverished... Oh yeah, he was the, uh, the, uh... The people were living in Squala. So you had him murdered. He was the competitor in Athens. Perfect yog without breaking some of the quail's eggs. He wasn't right for us. Well, he... your adversaries proves what kind of leader you are. Oh, I'm just getting started. If only you'd be around to watch. Come into the cell. You're here to kill me, aren't you? Let's see what happens. Fortunately for me, there are other fires I need to extinguish. I have heard word of revolt. Already? That was fast. I have a plan. Also, the is Brasidus dead or dead. not? That... I don't know how you can take on a band of rebels if you refuse to fight this one. The act itself is out of my hands. The vote has been cast. What did I tell you? The people have given me their blessing. I use their power. That's not democracy. The people have chosen their destiny, Cassandra. They've chosen I have chosen Fuck you. their <laughs> destiny. <laughs> Also, I'm not really particularly worried about these two guards. Um, 
That is how you treat Rebellion. They don't know what they're agreeing to. The cult wins, Cassandra. Now, I have to see about the boat heading to Mytilene. Its people are in for a rude awakening. Hello. I'm ready to beat you guys up. Why didn't they even bring swords to this fight? Why did they not even bring swords? Like that was so violent it had to happen off screen. Barnabas? All right. By the power of the gods, halt! Oh. And Socrates? Good timing. Interesting. Death may be the greatest of human blessings after all. <laughs> oh, at least you tried. Surely it's the thought that counts. Thank the gods you are alive, Cassandra. If those guards are not the last, I say we need to leave and do so quickly. I like Wait. your plan. We need to talk about Cleon. Socrates is on to that Malacca. We know what he is doing. Be brief. Her equipment, Varnavas. So we cut to a Come different on, shot Varnavas. of the same cell. Cassandra. And then we cut again to her having the armor on. We'll discuss all we know. The steps to the Parthenon are long ah. on corpses. So he is a cultist, actually. And actually the head of this particular branch of cultists. Even though that makes him weaker than this guy. Also, I don't remember at what point Pericles died. So I'm guessing that just happened behind the scenes and I just missed out? Oh well. Either way, I believe I skipped out on one particular quest item. So when I was trying to figure out like what's going to happen next, I did forget about one thing. Um, so there's the confrontation against Alexios, the confrontation against the cult, the end of the war. Oh. Back to having bounty hunters after me. Fantastic. Now is there a way to get rid of these bounties? Oh my lord. Let us try to get away from this scene. Find the guy who has the bounty on my head and clear that off first because I've already had a blast killing mercenaries before. But we don't necessarily need that at all times. And it appears that that bounty hunter might have uh, seen me. I am hoping that he did not. Nobody is chasing me. Good. Nope, nope. Don't climb up there. Now, in theory, I should just be able to go in here, kill the guy, and then get out. Hmm. 
That only knocked off one. Okay, so that did not quite work out. So, let's uh, see about taking out these uh, mercenaries, because there are just a limited amount of them, in theory. That one's level 42, that one's level 41. The Belladonna. She used to coat her blade with a deadly poisonous flower, which means more poison. But only on her blade. Which is fine, because she is not excreting poison mid-battle. Ah, I am being so sneaky. Stealth is my middle name. And I've been poisoned. I've been poisoned again. Oh no, this is... There we go. Oh, okay. Okay, one of them's done. This guy. This 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 gal has great reach, but I am not particularly worried. Because, hey, I beat the other one. So, in theory, it'll just be the two of us. There we go, finally. If I could just do a better job... Oop, poison bomb. And unfortunately, that does not count against herself. Because that would make a lot of sense. But this is still a video game. Damn it. So this one is sitting on her horse, minding her own business. And is dead. You know, it seems as though, like, Cassandra is a better assassin of mercenaries than she is an assassin of cultists. But now let us talk to Socrates and see what we can do about defeating Cleon. I wonder if this essentially replaces the Athenian power or defeats them in this war. Like he said, it's the thought that counts, right? Apparently. Come, the others are waiting. 
we were worried. I am definitely the odd one out. Especially with every Athenian guard looking for you. Cleon will have to do more than that to stop me. What's all this? We've begun working on a plan to take down... Ah, uh, it's that guy. Alcabidez. Lots of talking, not much action. And he's a man who likes his action. It feels different without Pericles. But his inspiration lives on. That's why we're here. Where once we gathered to forget our problems, now we meet them head on. And get back to what truly matters. To restore Athens to its former glory. Um, yeah, that, and along with, uh, so orgies. So taking down Cleon. Tell me the plan. It won't be simple. His death would disrupt the peace and be worse for Athens. He's right. We must discredit him first. Aristophanes apparently has some play he thinks will do the job. Oh, how very Someday, Shakespearean of you. It is so much more than that. Oh, don't get your tunic in a twist. I just don't see why we can't all love each other. It's so much more fun that way. What's so special about the play? Will your famous orange ape impression be making an appearance? Ha! Funnily enough, that was the inspiration. Isn't it a risk to show him in a bad light in front of his admirers? I think the play will change their minds. Good art is risky, but my plan will work. All right, let's do it. We can't just play around over here. The people trust Cleon. They'll vote for whatever action he puts forth. But that does not mean we plan to do nothing. Taking down Cleon won't be easy. But with your help, it will be possible. Okay. Oh, and now I've got multiple quests again. All right, let's head. Uh, let's talk to Socrates first. Someone needed to stop Cleon. Fools look backwards in times like these, and you're no fool. From now, we work to save Mytilini. So that's what all this is? Some kind of plan? Ever since yes. I Cleon speak of Mytilini. I have known something was wrong. Also, I have no memory of Mitalini, so tell me your plan. Sounds promising. One of my students is posing as a guard at the Acropolis. Apparently, Cleon is hiding something there and has been meeting others in secret. That's a bold move. Desperate times. If you believe there's something at the Acropolis that'll help, I'll find it. I expect you'll find the proof you need of his offenses. What if the people don't turn against Cleon? They will. I'll be speaking in front of them soon. With your help, we'll show them the man behind the facade. Especially since uh, this guy is also essentially a puppet of the cult. Where do you need me to go? To the western section of the cross <laughs> sanctuary. Anything else you can tell me about where to look? What I know is Cleon's always loved the statue of Athena. Sounds like a good place to start. So, head over to the Acropolis, look at the statue of Athena. Good. I'm headed soon to speak in front of the people at the Pedix. If you find anything that can help, meet me there. I'll be quick. Oh, I don't need to look at that one. Alternatively, I suppose I could talk to him to accept the quest, but eh, I'll, I'll just focus on one thing at a time. He moved his quarters to the Acropolis at the center of Greater Athens. You know, it's kind of odd that, like, okay, supposedly the Athenian guards are after me, but the, no the notoriety in this game doesn't actually affect why are you on fire? Uh, it doesn't affect uh, the guards, it just affects how many mercenaries are coming after you. Like... Like, I don't really see any guards worrying about me. There's the statue of Athena. And... This looks like somewhere Cleon would come. It does, doesn't it? Knowing Cleon, 
of whom we don't really know that well, because we've only seen him, like, once in the entire game. We know this is the kind of place he would hang around in. But, like usual, um, I'm just going to attempt be on high alert here. to just complete out the objective. So apparently I have to go into that building? You know, I, I know I'm not supposed to kill him, but part of me wonders if uh, he's actually still on the map as well. So, like, you could accidentally, or you could choose to screw things up for yourself. Huh. Even with the bounty, he's like, No, this is your trespassing here, Mystheos. Because I guess my bounty is not high enough for him to care. Who knows? Muddy tracks probably came from someone in the garden. Hmm. This shovel looks recently used. So he buried something. Luckily, there is no karma attached to stealing. Uh, there's only notoriety. Cleon, your personal effects have been moved and hidden like you ask. I'll keep the key safe until further notice and continue patrolling the Parthenon. Pole March. Pelios. So Pelos. I need to find the commander Phylos. Phylos. Yep. Exactly what I said. And I'm going to take the long way around because it is safer. And hopefully this will be nice and easy. Because now all I have to do is... Kill Phylos. Or knock him out? No, what I'm going to do is I'm going to climb up to the top of the roof there, and then I'm going to dive down and kill him. And that will be awesome. Then I'm going to run away. Because most likely doing that will kind of either make me stand out... And I'm far too high. I probably should have seen that coming. There we go. Now am I... Nope, still too high. There we go. Alright, fantastic. Couldn't have gone better. Oop. But hold up, there is a mercenary there. So let us go and take him down before uh, he becomes trouble in himself. 
or before this becomes a fight I have to attempt um, on uh, territory I'm not allowed to be in. Why is he running away from me? Why do they always make me chase them? Oh, really? I've got a couple swords that say differently. Um, and you've got a couple swords that say, ah, damn it. And poison bombs. Man, that was a... Damn it. <laughs> Wow, that went terribly. Does this mean I have to kill, uh, Phylos again? Ah. See, if I play bad, then I'm gonna... <laughs> I, I guess this goes to the entire idea, like, the, 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 there's one side, like, the best laid plans go wrong versus a terrible plan that's executed perfectly. Um, I had a great plan, and I just did everything possible uh, that could go wrong, did go wrong. I mistimed all of my dodges, I got hit by poison... Uh, where am I? Okay, now I'm way back here. So I'm just gonna cut back to me having the key, hopefully. Also, that rhymed. Socrates was right. This is exactly what we needed. Oh. Uh, never mind. It actually, uh... Did save my killing of Phylos. Um... And I was able to just go to the chest and open it up. Okay. I'll leave that mercenary behind for later because he's sitting uh, inside an enemy, enemy camp and I don't feel like fighting him there. And not because he already defeated me. And I don't want to be defeated again. While this quest remains incomplete. Alright, let's see what Socrates has to say for himself. Good, you're here. The people are waiting for me to speak. Ah. And it's convenient timing that I would show up with evidence that he can use. It's what I could find about Cleon. Mytilene is just the first of many places that he wants to wipe out. With the sway he has over the police, he'd get the votes for death every time. Then it's up to us, right now, to change their minds. So, you'll join me? Talking to the people may not be enough. We need to show them why following Cleon is wrong. I'm surprised to hear you suggest such an idea. Desperate times. Isn't that what you said? So I did. Follow my lead and respond as if you're one of Cleon's supporters, not mine. Ooh. I'm planting myself in the audience. But Socrates, Cleon is a man of the people. Tell me, if you harm someone with a sword, are you not responsible? I am! What if you hired someone else to harm another? Are you still responsible for that harm? Of course I'm not. That's ridiculous! I'm not harming the person someone else is! <laughs> Would the person not have been safe from harm otherwise? From me, at least, yes. Then you admit you bear responsibility for that harm, for you have Are we having an ethical discussion and that's how we're gonna convince the people? I suppose I do. We have agreed that we may harm another, even if not by our own hands. That's right. So let me ask you another question. Who should you trust? The many or the one who has more expertise? Ooh. People with expertise know better. I follow the one with expertise. Surely they know better than I do. I want to rile up the crowd. Based only on what another says. 
It's all I have to go off of. And if they lied? Also, it kind of sort of seems like a... If they lied, I'd find someone... People who lied to me don't deserve my trust. Nor should they. After all, if someone... It, it kind of seems like the audience is kind of sort of paying attention. Would not do so again. Yes, you're right. So you agree that someone who lies to you is not worthy of leading? Of course. Oh, Athenians. Would you not also agree that you can have responsibility for harming another even through someone else? I would. And would you follow someone you found out had lied to you for their own gain? Of course not. Above all things, therefore, I beg and implore you, hear these words. The one you currently follow is lying for his own gain. Cleon has lied to you in order to get the votes needed uh, to attack me. But I suppose she revealed herself as... That she was just kind of going along. And I guess you can say that in this stage, it's kind of more of a performance than anything else. Like, people don't show up to hear expecting to hear the news accurately. The lives of those people are in your hands, too. The ship must be stopped. That guy, that, that guy's got a lot of energy. Like, Athenian politics really drives him. That was a great display of rhetoric. The people will be unable to deny what they heard. All we did was talk. What we did was far more. We used proof and clear argument to bring forth an outcome that will not just hurt Cleon, but hopefully save countless lives. But was it enough? We'll find out. I believe word of Cleon's misdeeds will be shared throughout Athens. Its citizens love the city and what it stands for. Nobody wishes for it to fall. All right, so the first attempt at this guy Oh, this is a different guy. Alright. So, let us take her down, and hopefully not lose. Oh, the Athenian guards are getting in on this. Let's get out of here. Okay, this is the guy that got me last time. So far, I've killed one of these two mercenaries. Let us see if I can acquire my vengeance. Yeah, he throws multiple poison bombs. And he poisons the, the Athenian guards who show up. Very nice. Oh no. There we go. Oh, okay. Alright, now he's dead. Vengeance! Vengeance! Thank you for watching. Questions? Comments? Recommendations for something to play next? Comment down below or send it on over to it sounded good on paper at gmail.com. That's it sounded good on paper at gmail.com. So long for now.